Well now, due to popular demand, we are here with a PM3 head casting that's from a D15B7 or also a D16A6. We will talk about the core shifts and all the stuff that we do, like remove it but not totally or else it gets hogged out and you lose airspeed and torque. So here we are, you can see not all of it is removed because it's just too much. The core shift is too much. So we're going to be from this part the initial stage here and also up to the finished product so hey you know this is gonna be a power maker First things first, our new page is up and running because the old page I lost control of because my personal Facebook got hacked. So this new page, we're updating it almost on the daily with all the good stuff that we work on at the shop. So if it doesn't get to the videos, it gets posted there. So check it out and follow guys. Of course, link will be in the description below. Let's go, let's go. All right, now let's go and look at the stock casting of the PM3 head. Here you can look close. You can actually see the port shape is really good, but the core shift is significant. And you can look at it close, right, right before the valve seat, before the throat, after, between the bowl and the throat. You can see the port move, the shape movement has gone a little bit to the left. So let me show you what we do when we approach such problems. And this goes for all the castings. Let's go. And here you can see on the bowl, you can look close. The valve seat is aligned well to the valve guide. But look, you can see the port itself has moved a little bit to the right or to the left. Sorry. And you can see this left side here, it's indented inward so if we clean that up it goes way too wide or too much and then here it has the wall covering or imposing on the way to the valve seat or to the throat so it's covering it it's being an obstruction sorry see in all, every single port has different movement so now let's start working on this and let's go straight to the porting bench let's carry the head over let's go let's go okay now here we are we start with the carbide and of course start shaping I like to start on the port side walls this way, get the contours really good. And of course, we got a time lapse. You can see here, we slowly get it good. And you know, some people just start with the floor or the roof, but I start from the port side walls all the way to the roof. And now here with the bowl, you can remember we showed you that the core shift is moved to the left so we're gonna work on that before we start eliminating the whole thing you know we have to gradually start where the core shift is being obstructive to the flow path because you know we gotta remove that or get that flow good this way is gonna be better okay now let's look at it closer as you can see here where where the indentation are due to the core shift we didn't touch it because it's gonna be even deeper and that's not gonna be good so we tried to equalize the other side the one that's you know more obstructive to the flow path this way when we smooth it out afterward it's more equalized according to the valve seat all right now here we go let's go with the exhaust port roof we go with the carbide and just get the shape good before we go with the 80 grit yes sir okay now we go with a time lapse so that this is going to be quicker as you can see this, the reason why we go with the carbide is because you can go with the 80 grit, but it's going to take too long. So we go with the carbide first before we go with the 80 grit. So now here we go. You can see now a little closer. The shape is slowly getting there, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. On the other side here. Yes. So now before we continue and go on here, just in case you haven't subscribe and hit the bell notification this way you got updated and every upload that we do that's good and technical just for you and especially because we got a series going on and it's about my car my own personal car that has a d16 a6 engine that also has a pm3 non vtec d16 a6 head that's extensively ported and it's a little different than this one here and of course, link will be in the description below. And of course, like the video. This way it gets spread out to a wider audience because it will generate more activity according to YouTube. So hit the like button. You'll have a faster car that way. Just kidding. But hey, hit the like button, guys. Okay, now, so we go with the 80 grit on the intake bowls because we've initially shaped it with a carbide. So now we're going to make a pass on the 80 grit just to see the bumps and ridges and actually remove it. As you can see now it's starting to shape well and starting to look well actually right 
Yes, sir. And now, okay, now we're gonna invert the head and go with the exhaust bowl. Let's go. And so here we are cleaning up the exhaust bowl because, you know, we didn't have to go with a carbide because I, as I checked it earlier, it, the movement is all pretty consistent, but just a little. So, yep, now let's look at it closer. Let's go, let's go. Here we go, as you can see closer. You can see there's some areas specifically on the left side we didn't reach it with the 80 grid that's because the it's it's moving inward so we don't even have to reach that all right so now let's go with the exhaust port roof let's go let's go okay here we are because we shape this with the 80 grid this way we can see how it looks when it gets cleaner and we're going to show you we're going to take it to the workbench well, after, you know, initially roughing up the intake with 80 grit to show you guys. Here we go. Yes, sir, it's starting to look really good now. Of course, always wear a gas mask. We don't want you inhaling those dust. All right, now let's look at it closer. As you can see, it's starting to actually slowly looking like a good ported exhaust ports. Redundant, sorry. All right, now let's go to the intake side. Okay, now as we did with the carbide, we start with the port walls, we blend it slowly onto the roof. This way it's pretty consistent. Before we go any further, you know, you have I, I always do this step by step. This way I don't get lost and it doesn't it doesn't become inconsistent. Alright, now let's look at it closer. Yes, sir, you can see the port walls are slowly blending well all together from the roof and a bit on the floor yes sir okay now we invert the head and let's work on the port floors let's go let's go let me invert this okay one cool thing with the time lapse is because we, we're starting to see how the ports is starting to look because when i'm porting it i don't really notice it because it takes a long time and of course we're, i'm concentrating on the contours and the shapes and so now let's look at it closer yes sir you can see how the port floor is blended to the port side walls and of course onto the roof right okay so now i bring this get to get power washed with water and soap and take it to the workbench and show you guys the current stage before it finishes or before we start doing the finishing touches for the texture that we need okay here we are now after washing it up you can see the boards are slowly getting to how we want it to be but you can still see the core shift is still there still evident let's look at it closer but let's look at the bowl remember earlier we showed you there was a ledge there and look that area on the left is still deeper so we didn't really you know scrub it off or like you know make it even deeper because that's gonna make it more skewed to the left so here we're trying to get the port aligned to the valve seat which is aligned to the valve guide so hey it's gonna be aligned properly now let's look at it close with the lighting here and you can see on the right side the core shift is still too deep but that's that's okay there's no problem but as you can see some would actually clean that up and make it look good for facebook but hey you wouldn't know if it's aligned or not right yes sir and now we're sharing this so you can see but later on it's gonna start to look better because we're gonna keep going at it to get all the texture or the texture that we're going for and this way it's gonna be a finished product afterwards and now let's go back to the porting bench and continue the work let's go let's go Okay, now here on the intake bowl, we still go with the 80 grit, trying to get all the texture and also, of course, the shape, how we want it to be. Because the more you make a pass on this, you start to see more bumps and ridges and you can clean that up without really misaligning the whole intake port. Okay, now let's look at the bowl from the port entry side. And now here you can see the bowl and you can still see the core shift is still evident, right? We haven't really hogged it out. We're still trying to get the port alignment really good. So now let's go with the port roof or the roof of the intake ports. So now we're going to blend it onto the side walls. And, you know, of course, the floor is already blended well. So we're going to connect all that. Yes, sir. Okay. And now let's move to the exhaust port. Let's work on the port floors. Yes, now you're going to get it good. And you can see it's starting to look good, right? 
But of course, as mentioned in the other video, it's more critical on the port roof of the exhaust because flow naturally pushes upwards when it exits the chamber. So we're going to get this shaped really well and really good. Yes, sir. Okay, and now let's unclip the phone and look at it closer. Let's go, let's go. Here you can see it's slowly starting to look like a good and proper exhaust port, but not yet, not yet. Okay, now let's go to the intake roof. All right, here we are. We're trying to blend the port side walls onto the roof. This way it's gonna transition really good on the shape. So yeah, we keep going. We make another pass where once again, it's, this is still 80 grit by the way. So we're making several passes until we get the desired shape that we need or want. Okay, now let's unclip the phone. Let's look at it closer. Oh yeah. Now it's starting to look good. Yes, sir. And you can see the port side walls, but you can still see it's not totally hogged out. We're just going for the ideal shape and the finish. And you can see even the port floor, which is the roof, really good. So now let's go to the bowls. Let's go, let's go. Here we are now with 120 grit on the intake bowl. We actually do 80 grit on the whole intake port, but the bowl, for the intake and the exhaust, we go 120 grit. But the rest of the parts of the exhaust is also 120 grit. As you can see now, it's starting to get smoother and smoother. We're trying to get the shape that we need and want. So it's going to start looking clean. Now, this is the exhaust bowl. It's still 120 grit because the rest is going to be 120 grit, of course. Yes, sir. Okay, and now... We work on the exhaust port floor on the 120 grit or with 120 grit. Yes, sir. And you can see it's getting smoother and smoother by the looks and even the glare of the shine. Yes, sir. All right. Now we work on the exhaust roof, which is the more important area. And you can see it's starting to look really good, right? And we're going to look at it close when we get done with it, when we're finished with this. All right. You can see. Yes, sir. Last one. All right, and now let's look at it closer. Come on, come on. Unclip the phone. As you can see, yes, sir, it's starting to look really good, right? But it's not yet done. We're still gonna do a bit more work on the bowl and of course the rest of the ports, all right? And then we'll look at it close after we do some more work. And now it's here, you can see the intake bowls are really gotten good or it's it's got to the texture the finish that we wanted and it's on 120 grit you can still see the core shift right there on the left side right we can't really remove that or if you remove that you're gonna skew the port shape really bad it's gonna look good for facebook but hey not really all right and here's the exhaust area the side sorry the exhaust side the bowl is gotten really good too and you can still see the core shift is still there and even on a cnc head when you look at it a proper cnc head there will be areas that it didn't touch it because the core shift went too far it's not gonna touch it further all right we'll work on this a bit more off camera and then wash it and take it to the workbench let's go now you would you look at that you can see the transformation from its stock form yes sir and that's 80 grit finish, but 120 on the bowl areas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now let's look at the intake ports closer. Here. As you can see on the right side, because we started showing you from the stock form, you can still see the core shift is still there. We didn't totally remove that because, you know, when you remove that, you start skewing the port the wrong way or bent sideways. It's not going to be good. And the cross section is not going to be you know really good so this is how it is and this is how we do it and you can see the texture is really good even the light shows the shape of the port floor which is the roof in this angle is really good right and you can see now the, sh the port roof is good too yes sir all right this is gonna flow really really good and create good torque this is how i like it when i port not just the D16A6 or D15B7 head, but every head in general that we work on. And look at it closer from this angle, from the floor. 
Yes, sir. You can see the bold transition. And now let's look at the exhaust. Here you go. 120 grit finish. It's really good right now. As you can see, it's not really totally hogged out. It looks really, really good. And from this perspective, we're going to look closer to the exhaust port. There you go. You can still see the core shift is still there, but we didn't totally remove it because it's going to skew or make the shape all weird and all wrong. So we just continued to pour the exhaust as good as we can and as round as we can. This way it's flowing really good. And you know, we still have no application for this head. That's why we poured this or ported this quite mild. But if you want to check out a more crazier work that I did for a PM3 head, the link on of the series of my own build is going to be in the description and also pinned in the comments below. So don't worry about that. You can check that later because it has a PM3 non VTEC head, but I ported it specifically for my application and you guys can check that. And also to delve deeper onto your interest, you can also click here.